to the AAEN fabrication shop. All our filler is dry and it's time for us to begin sanding. So as we do this, we'll start off with the 220 grit and we'll sand, sand down our fins till we get a nice smooth finish. Now when you first start doing this, you're gonna get a lot of sanding dust, as you can see. Okay. This is why we were talking about in the very beginning when we started putting this on, to try to make it as smooth as you can while you're putting the filler on, that way there's less sanding you have to do. Okay. We'll go ahead, sand the leading edges. We want them to maintain their round shape. The other thing that you'll notice is you do have where the filler meets the body tube and we want to go ahead and sand that down as well. As you sand your fins down, take a look at them, feel them, okay, do you have rough spots? Like right here we've got some roughness and you can feel a ridge. So we want to sand all that down. We want to get these things, we want to get our fins nice and smooth. Where you have your fillets at, sometimes it helps if you take and you roll your sanding paper a little bit. That helps it to conform to where your fillet is. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and we'll continue sanding the other fins down smooth and we'll do all that off camera. With our fins done, it's now time to sand down the filler that we put in the spiral gaps that were located up and down the body tube. And we do that the same way we do the fins. We'll simply take our 220 grit sandpaper and we'll gently sand those down. Okay, I'm not, not really sure how well the camera's picking this up, but if you look, you can see where the filler has filled in the gap, and now it's nice and smooth. There's no opening there between the two pieces of paper. Like our fins, this does take a little bit of time. We'll go ahead and do that off camera. When we get back, we'll have these gaps sanded down, and we'll also sand down our launch lug. Okay, we are back from finishing sanding the seams down that went up body tube, as well as our launch lug. And we're looking pretty good right now. Fins are nice and smooth, body tube's good and smooth. The last thing we wanna do is give it an overall sanding and we're going to do that with the 320 grit sandpaper. So what I'll do is I will start down here on the fins and I'll work my way around the fins and then I'll just simply go up the body tube.
The whole purpose of this is simply to smooth down the fins a little bit more, uh, get rid of some of the scratches and stuff that's put in by the 220 grit sandpaper. And we look really good right now. And if you haven't figured it out by now, to get a really good finish is going to require you to do a lot of sanding. And I know a lot of folks don't like doing that. This is not something you have to do, but if you put in the time and the effort, your efforts are rewarded when you start doing that final finishing coat and everything is nice and smooth. You don't see spirals going up the body tube and it really just takes your model to the next level. So that finishes this part of prepping the body tube for finishing. In our next segment, we will look at the nose cone and the payload adapter. They're made of plastic, so their preparation is just a little bit different than what we did here. So until next time, Take care.